Hey, what up, YouTube? Trevor here. Um, so I'm just gonna get right into this video. Um, but I'm gonna warn you guys, it's, it's a little different, and um, I guess you could say it's kind of bad news. I guess stupid remote. Anyway, so basically, this person that I knew in elementary school. Uh, I assume we used to be friends. Um, anyway, I wouldn't normally throw out the name, but because I'm hoping that, uh, because I'm hoping that she sees this video and she realizes that there's someone else other than just her family, her mom and dad, or brother and sister, I'm hoping that she sees there are, there is someone else that cares. So, basically, guys, um... Basically, this person that I used to go to elementary school with, um, and I think she goes to my same high school as well, um, but I don't, I've never seen her at, uh, at my school, at my high school, so I, I mean, I was just told that she went by the, by the staff or the counselor, um, it, it was confirmed that she went to my high school anyway, but so, someone that used to be my friend, her name is Sarah Bowman, anyway, long story short, she, um, she is in the hospital right now, and she has been in the hospital since September, because on September 30th, she got in a car crash, and, uh, yeah, her lungs got crushed, and so now she's most likely on a life support machine. So that's, you know, that's fun, right? Yeah, anyway, guys, um, I'll be honest, the whole day... I first heard about it when uh, my mom was driving me to school today. Right as I'm getting out of the car, she basically says, Oh yeah, Trevor, you know so-and-so, she got in a car crash today. Or no, not today, but yeah. She's basically, when I'm getting out of the car, you know, grabbing my bags and all that out of the car, she says, Oh yeah, Trevor, you know so-and-so. Um, she's She got in a car crash like a month ago and she's in the hospital. Anyway, bye, see you later, have a good day at school. So, that's basically the first I heard about it. And at the time, I didn't really have any time to worry about it. Um, because by the time we had arrived at school, there was like five minutes before the, the first class started. So I, my only worry, the only worry on my mind was getting to class on time. But the minute I sit down in class, I'm like, wait a second. I remember that name. I used to be her friend in elementary school. Anyway. So yeah, like, I... I basically, I could not... Um, somebody just texted me, freaking bitch. Anyway, I basically could not uh, do any work at all today in any of my classes. Um, in one of my classes, though, we weren't really doing any work to begin with, so I, I guess that kind of is good. But because of how worried I was about this person, uh, I wasn't able to get any work done in class. And honestly, I just kind of feel bad about it. But I don't really care. And I'll be honest, I really hope Sarah sees this video. Not like she will, but I really hope she does because I feel like she needs to know that there's more people that care about her other than just her family members. Um, and I'll be honest, guys, I've tried calling every... I've tried calling pretty much every single hospital around Arizona that has come up on the Google searches. So, and so far, uh, none of them are housing my used-to-be friend. So, I, I'll be honest, guys, I'm kind of depressed and worried about it because, I mean, I'm you know, here I am sitting on my ass, not being able to do a single damn thing about... Someone that used to be my friend, who is now probably on her deathbed on a fucking life support machine. And <laughs> the worst part is, guys, is that all my mom thinks we should do is donate to fundme.com. All, all, all she thinks we should do is uh, donate money to gofundme.com for her, you know, hospital bills and junk. I mean, that's great that she wants to, you know donate money to the cause to help save her and all that. 
like that's great and I'm sure it will help pay off the hospital bills that are probably massive. But what the fuck? Like like who the hell do you guys think I am? I'm sorry about the language, the constant language. But I'm just I'm really I'm I'm pissed and honestly depressed at the same time because I can't do a damn thing about this. And someone that used to be my friend who I still probably see as a friend. She's She's pretty much on her deathbed right now, on a fucking life support machine, and all my mom wants to do with them. And I'll be honest, guys, I look up to my mom. Like, she's literally the only parent that I have that, to me, has always been a shoulder to cry on or, you know, support. She, she's always been there. Um, and I don't mean to sound, like, super weak or anything. Like, oh, my mom's awesome. And I'll be honest, guys, while we're on that topic... Some people try to act so tough and, you know, they try to act that, like they're so hard and junk. But really, guys, I'm going to be flat out. If it wasn't for moms, none of you guys would even exist. Oh, yeah, I went there. But anyway, enough of that. My mom has always been kind of a shoulder to cry on for me, you know, my support. Because my dad, I mean, he's always busy with work. He never has time for the family. And even when he does potentially have time for the family, he'd rather sit in he'd rather sit in a chair and read the newspaper. So, I mean, it, it's just kind of hard, you know? Um, so my mom's always been the one to be there for me to take care of my stupid ass. Um, and all she wants to do is donate to a fundraiser. Like, I get we should help pay the hospital bills often, because the hospital bills for uh, for this patient are probably massive. But it just, it pisses me off that all she thinks we can do is, is pay her hospital bills, essentially. It really just pisses me off. It's like, who the hell do you think I am, Mom? Anyway, guys, I'm just, I'm sorry about the extensive language... Um, I don't normally do that anymore, but it's just, I'm honestly really stressed, really pissed off, and really worried and sad at the same time right now, um, because someone that I saw as a friend at some point in my life is now on her deathbed on a life support machine. So, I mean, I don't know if she's going to die, I don't know if she's going to make it, I, I don't know. All I know is that she was in a car crash on September 30th, and she's been in the hospital ever since ever since September 30th. And she still is in the hospital today, from what I hear. So, you know, like, I, I, I don't know how my parents or my teachers or uh, anyone else, I don't know how anyone expects me to act after something like, after hearing something like this. I just, I don't know what to do, guys. And I've already tried calling, like, a bazillion fucking hospitals in Arizona, and so far none of them have, uh, anyone by the last name of Sarah, but pretty much nobody, none of the hospitals or urgent care centers that I've called so far, um, are housing my friend Sarah Bowman, so, I mean... I mean, you know, Sarah's parents, I mean, they're being, you know, extremely, um, how can I put this? They're being extremely, uh, low about this. Like, they don't want anyone to know about it. And I get it. Like, I respect that. Like, you know, obviously I'm not a parent, but if I was and my kid ended up in the hospital, I would say, you know what? I don't want anyone to know about this. I want to be there for my kid, you know, but still, you know, I respect that they don't want anyone to know about this, and they just want to be there for their daughter, who is obviously injured as fuck, and I prob probably on some crazy life support machine. I get that they're worried, and they're scared, and they pray for every day and all that, but really, here I am, just... Just, just put your guys, put you guys in, put yourself in my shoes, you guys, is all that I'm asking right now. How do you feel? Like, I respect that their parents don't want people to know about it. I get it, believe me, I understand. But here I am, literally, metaphorically dying 
over the fact that I can't do a damn thing to help her. And, you know, her parents don't want anyone to know about it. So, of course, I don't know what location she's at. So I've been calling location after location out the ass trying to find a hospital that is her holding her currently. Um, I've been calling out the ass and... Uh, I mean, I don't have the parents' phone numbers either, so I can't, I can't do anything about that. And speaking of their, speaking of her parents, uh, they have both of both parents have their phone numbers enlist, enlisted. So pretty much no one's been able to call them, from what I hear. And um, honestly, I'm just worried as shit right now, guys. Like I don't know if she's gonna make it. I don't know if I don't know. I'm just, I'm just really stressed out. Um, and you may be wondering, some of you may be wondering, why am I telling you guys this? Why am I recording myself f fucking beating myself up over someone who's in the hospital right now? Why am I doing this? Well, I'll tell you why, guys. Because regardless of if I know the people that watch my videos, or if I don't know them, if some complete stranger finds my videos and starts watching them, it means that this person cares, obviously. You know, it means that they give at least a single shit about my life and what happens in it. Like, I don't tell you guys this to get attention. I tell you guys this because I want to know what you would do. I want your suggestions. I'm the one that's asking you guys for help here. So, I don't know. You know, like, I don't know what you want me... I, I, I don't know how people expect me to act. And also, guys, uh, in case you guys didn't know, this also means that... uh because of uh because of how bad I'm beating myself up over this um that also means that uh my whole uh making videos whenever I want schedule type thing uh I may not be making videos for a while until I can you know find out where she's at find out if she's okay I may not be I may not be able to make videos for a while um for those of you that, that enjoy my content and all that, my crappy videos, my crappy quality and all that, for those of you that enjoy my videos, uh, this event that has happened means I will not be making videos for a few days, which I get it, it kind of sucks, um, I just, you know, I need a break, you know, like, I need to think things over, and honestly, like, I don't really need to think that much, see, the thing is, guys, when I do find out, assuming I find out what hospital she's at at all, when I do find that out, I'm going to call up one of my friends that has a car and can drive, and I'm going to say, look, you know what? I need a ride to this hospital because this is where my friend is located, and I need to see her. I need to make sure she's all right with my own eyes. Um, and honestly, like, I don't need anyone's permission, all right? I want to make that very clear to everyone watching this. I don't need anyone's permission to be worried about someone I used to care about. I don't need anyone's permission or authority to walk into a hospital and be like, yo, where's she at? Let me go see her. You know, I don't need anyone's permission to worry about someone. I don't need anyone's authority or okay to walk into a, a hospital room and make sure my friend is okay. I don't need that, all right? And again, guys, I apologize for the extensive language in this video. And I also apologize uh, if I'm kind of stressed and pissed off right now. It's just, I don't know what I can do right now, you know? Um, anyway, um, for those of you that have any advice on what I should do, where I should go from here, uh, should I keep on trying to call more hospitals? Should I, I don't know, should I like, what should I do, guys? Uh, here I am asking the viewers for advice. Um, but if you guys have any idea what I should do, just, you know, I don't know, comment, comment something. Um, thing is, I don't know any of her information either, so all I know is, all I know is that, all I know is her first and last name, and the fact that she used to be my friend, that's all I know, because I haven't seen her since elementary school, so, you know, I don't, I don't know if there's much I can do to help my cause. Anyway. Um, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and uh, to Sarah Bowman, I really hope you're doing okay, um, and I, I really hope that you get better, so, yeah.
thank you guys for watching, and um, I want you guys to drop a like to prayer for uh, my good friend Sarah. So thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you will. That that'd be awesome, you guys. Um, hashtag one like one prayer. <laughs> uh, no, you know what? I'm not gonna go there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video, I guess. So yeah, and uh, Sarah, I really hope you're doing all right. Anyway, peace.